Hello. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. All week long, we've been thinking about the significance of the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. I, I want to read to you from Philippians chapter 1, one of my favorite sections of the Word of God that talks about this topic. It says this statement. But what does it matter? The important thing is that in every way, whether from false motives or true, Christ is preached. And because of this, I rejoice. Yes, and I will continue to rejoice. For I know that through your prayers and God's provision of the Spirit of Jesus, what has happened to me will turn out for my deliverance. I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. Key verse, verse 21. For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. If I'm to go on living in the body, this will mean fruitful labor for me, yet what shall I choose? I do not know. I'm torn between the two. I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is better by far. But it is more necessary for you that I remain in the body. Convinced of this, I know that I will remain and will continue with all of you for your progress and joy in the faith, so that through my being with you again, your boasting in Christ Jesus will abound on account of me. Today, I had one of the privileges of my life yet one more time. I had the privilege of being present for a victory service for Jane, who went home to be with the Lord on Monday, Thursday. Her husband's a pastor. I ask that you pray for them. Pray for Gary, boy, and their sons, Matthew and Peter. She had tenacious faith. She was a consistent person who prayed. She studied the word of God, and she went home to be with the Lord. She served him. She was kind and humble. And now her family grieves her loss, their loss, excuse me, and her gain. We weep with those who weep and we rejoice with those who rejoice. We weep with Gary and Matthew and Peter and we rejoice for Jane. It says this statement, for unto me to live is Christ, to die is gain. I like thinking about heaven. I like thinking about those that I know that are in heaven. I pray that you think about those who are in heaven even now to live as Christ, to die as gain. If I'm to go on living in the body, if I'm still living today, it is fruitful labor for me. Yet what shall I choose? I do not know. I'm torn between the two. I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is better by far, but is more necessary for you that I remain in the body. Now think about this for a moment. Who needs you? Who needs you? Not only who needs you, who needs you to look at your life through God's eyes. That, that your presence in their life is a spiritual presence and not just a physical presence, not just a relational presence, but you are bringing the fullness of Jesus to them. You are the witness. It says a statement. Convinced of this, I know I will remain and will continue with all of you for your progress and joy in the faith so that through my being with you again, your boasting in Christ Jesus will abound on account of me. I don't claim to know God's economy. I don't claim to know God's timing. I don't claim to understand. The scripture does say that we should teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. And, but I ask that you might pray, please pray, for Gary and Matthew and Peter. Please rejoice with them for the confidence of heaven, for his wife, their mom, but also pray for their comfort and their strength and their peace during this difficult time. For to live is Christ, to die is gain. If we are still here now, God still has work for you to do. And me, may we see our life through his eyes. Please pray with me. Lord God, we pray for Gary and Peter and Matthew, and the family. We pray for your grace to be upon them. We thank you for Jane's tenacious faith. We thank you for eternal life. 
We thank you that she's outside of pain and suffering and she's in the fullness of your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. To live is Christ. To die is gain. God bless you.